Listen. Man, if I ain't did nothing Hold suspicious on, or nothing wrong. Listen. Told him I'm a pastor. Listen. I passed him to I don't want to hear Sir. You want to lock me up? Lock me up. Nobody. I'm telling you, we got one that's not listening to it. Look, man, let me see your phone. Let me see your phone, dude. Just calm down, okay? No, no. Stop. I like this. Okay. We're just trying to talk to you and Sir, see. I don't, don't, don't want to argue with you, okay? All right, yeah. go ahead and do what you got to do, Doc. You you do what you got to do. Go on okay. and lock me up. Look, just have a seat. It's already lost, lost up. You're just... It's already lost, Doc. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Lost, okay. Just have your name. I, I decided he asked me who I was. I you didn't give it to me when I first Pastor asked. Pastor Jennings. What you doing here, man? What I'm supposed to be here. I'm Pastor Jennings. I live across the street. I that, told okay. you I was here wanting to fly. But How do I know that's the truth? Anybody? Because I had the water hose in my hand. I was pouring up. All right. I think I was on the show with Dr. Richie when we first covered this story, actually. So here is an update to it. It's been over two years since the viral body cam camera footage was released of an Alabama pastor, Michael Jennings, being arrested by the police for watering his neighbor's flowers. However, he just received a ruling that may help him get some justice. We've been covering this story from the beginning, including interviewing Pastor Jennings about the incident here on our program. Now, an appellate court sided with Pastor Jennings in a unanimous vote, ruling the three officers who arrested him are not exempt from being sued. Here is the update from The Root. The ruling stems from the May 2022 incident when a white 911 caller reported Jennings to the police after seeing him water plants outside a neighbor's home in Childersburg. When the officers arrived, Jennings was asked to provide ID, which he refused, citing state law that he was not entitled to do so unless he suspected of committing a crime. Jennings identified himself verbally and explained his neighbors asked him to come across the street to tend to their garden while they were away. Within minutes, Jennings was forced to into handcuffs and charged with obstructing government operations per the AP. Though the charges were dismissed, Pastor Jennings sought his own legal remedy months later by filing a lawsuit against the officers. The suit accused them of violating his constitutional rights and causing him emotional distress. However, in December, AP's report says Chief District Judge R. David Proctor dismissed the case. Luckily, Friday, three judge, a three-judge panel from the 11th U.S. Court of Appeals ruled that the officers lacked probable cause for the arrest. Therefore, qualified immunity would not shield the officers from facing civil liability. Whoa. How often does that happen that we see these cops not exempt from uh, qualified immunity? It's the audacity of it, really. He was a neighbor, so the neighbor who called 911 on him presumably would have known that he also lives there. Uh, also, what crime, if there's a criminal out there who wants to just come water my 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 garden for me, then fine. Like, why would I arrest somebody like that? Why would I call 911 on, on a man who has like an active watering hose in his hand? And none of it makes any sense. I remember when we covered this story the first time, it was very upsetting just to see somebody living his life and then getting arrested for no reason. Not just somebody, but a respected man in his community. And on top of that, uh, he said he was suing for emotional distress. I think that that is something that is overlooked so often in these stories that we talk about. These are traumatizing experiences that these people go through, right? We talk about it on the show and then we move on with the rest of our lives. But this is something that all these people in the, this story and similar stories have to live with. That is something that they're not easily going to forget, especially when they don't get the justice that they think they deserve for it, especially when nothing bad really happens. So like, why couldn't it just happen to them again? Right. These are very these are life changing experiences. And it seems like maybe it's not a big deal, but it is. If it happened to you, you wouldn't like it and you would feel helpless and you would feel like you don't have options and you would feel like this country that you live in is not supporting you. It's not here to protect you the way that it should be. And uh, on top of that, you know, they're telling him, just stay calm, just just be calm while they're arresting him for doing absolutely nothing wrong. Tehran, what are your thoughts? I think that I've watched plenty of videos where police are actually confronted by other police officers and I see how they act. And I wonder then why don't you stay calm when the same thing is happening to you, when erroneous charges are being thrown towards you or you feel frustrated or helpless, especially on your own properties and own terms. My idea is that Pastor Jennings and what happened to Pastor Jennings 
is symbolic of something that happens far too often in this country. We also heard the police officer on the radio say, we got one that's not listening. What does that mean? They're not complying. You have to listen. I'm in charge. You are not. And this is the most important part, is that the lawsuits, these lawsuits that cost the taxpayers and the police force, by the way, a lot of money. We are talking about hundreds of millions of dollars that we're paying that should be going to potholes and homelessness, the problems that we talk about. We often hear defund the police and people getting upset by that. How about you want them to refund the police all the money that they're costing us by being bad police officers? Mm -hmm. However, I did just talk to the 63-year-old lady from C-SPAN, and it actually turns out that Pastor Jennings called the cops on himself. A lot. Oh That's one of the things that people, like, after voting for Jim Crow, he actually went across the street and then called the cops on himself, which I think is kind of smart because now there's no way that his neighbor's going to ever ask him to water flowers again. I might call the cops on myself the next time my cousin asks me to watch her dog. So this is like taking, uh, what is it? Weaponizing competence to the, really the next level. Like that is an unnecessary level, but you know, I, if, if that's look, I trust you as a source. So if that's really what happened, then, you know, that that's, I, he earned my, you heard respect. it on TV. You mm -hmm. heard it on TV. You said it. you said it, you said it right now on TV. So it must be true. But, you know, as, as far as the, the, the money being redirected, right. All this money that's going to the police department right now. It's so true that if you reinvest that money into the actual community, if you fix the roads, if you if you invest it into the education system, if you invest it into civic programs and things like that, it actually helps crime in these places, right? If you really want to address crime in a lot of these towns that have high crime rates, then you have to invest the money into the community, not just to the police. It's like if you, it, it's taking a very stubborn approach to any kind of crime. And again, in this particular case, there was no crime that was that was happening, but just generally speaking, if you reinvest money into the people and into the communities, then people are happier and you see those results on a large scale. Whereas if you're just, you know, saying, if you do a bad thing, we're going to punish you for it. That is a lot more work that doesn't need to be done. That is a lot more difficult as a means of curbing crime and bad behavior, uh, especially when you consider that the bad behavior is coming from the cops, not from the actual citizens in this case. So, uh, 